Now, I don't think it's a shock to anyone in the snowmobile world that 2025 was going to be a huge year for Arctic Cat. The anticipation for their 858 motor, <laughs> it's been massive. So go ahead and sit back, tear open your plaid button up, reveal that team green t-shirt that you've been wanting to show the snowmobiling world because the 858 is here. And I'm gonna tell you all the variations you can get it in for the 2025 model year. So no sense in making you wait. Let's jump in and show you exactly what the 858 is, where you're gonna find it in 2025, and also touch a little bit on the all new Garmin powered GA eight inch display. So if you want a catalyst in 2025, it's gonna be a two stroke. Maybe in the future, you'll see the four stroke make its way in there, but right now you've got the 600 and the 858. The new motor is a laydown design that delivers a low center of gravity, as well as being 4% lighter than the previous 800, delivering better power to weight and an impressive 11% more power and torque than the 800. We always assumed the old 800 to have somewhere in the 150 horsepower range. So you can now say that it handily is somewhere around 165 horsepower, which is very solid in the 850 category. Okay, so I was supposed to tell you where you're gonna be able to find the 858, but uh, I got a little overwhelmed with all of the power excitement there. So let's go back, scratch that, reverse it, and tell you where you're gonna be able to find it in 2025. You're gonna be able to get the 858 in the Catalyst across the board. That means trail ZRs, crossover riots, and mountain climbing M models. In the ZRs, you're gonna have three flavors to pick from. A base model with more basic IFP shocks, a step up to the Snow Pro with the all new AC5S adjustable shocks, and then the premium level with the ATAC electric suspension. Now don't worry, should you want the maximum in race readiness, you can still get the ultra premium ZR RXC with the Fox QS3 and QS3R suspension packages. And yes, those shocks are black anode for extra drool from your buddies. Moving to the Riot lineup, you're gonna find the exact same suspension spec options minus the RXC as this is just a cross country spec sled but you can go all the way up to ATAC on the Riots as well. And when you look at the M series sleds, you have similar but slightly different choices. There's the base M with the IFP coilovers, Snow Pro with QS3s, and then the top end M series with ATAC. However, these are not a coil like the trail sled, but a Fox float with ATAC feature, something that's unique to Articat. From what I've been able to find out from Articat, all 858 equipped ZRs and Riots are gonna have electric start. Even the RXC is gonna have electric start, which is a little bit of a deviation from the 600 RXC, which is available both in rope and electric. Now the mountain segment will offer the 858 in both electric and rope start throughout the lineup. And it's gonna cost you about 400 bucks American or just shy of 500 Canadian to get electric on your M series. Now, when it comes to the new Garmin Power G8 display, you'll find this on the M858 Mountain Cat, select Riot two-stroke models featuring ATAC, as well as select ZR two-stroke models with ATAC. But from what I can uncover, not on the premium 9000 series Riot or the Thundercat at this time. And obviously those aren't in the Catalyst platform. However, if you have a lower level 600 or 858 Catalyst, you can retrofit the G8 display onto these sleds after purchase through your Articat dealer. So let's talk a little bit more about the G8 display because while the 858 is huge news, I mean, really the other equally big news is this display for 2025. Now, some of the highlights of the G8 display are obviously the Garmin mapping system that does not require any cellular device or connectivity of any kind. But what you may not have known is that along with the map integration into this ultra slick display, you also get some pretty cool connectivity features that only one other manufacturer has ever had up to this point, all without the use of a cell phone. The G8 allows you to initiate group rides of up to 20 riders all on the display and not just see their precise location, but also text back and forth to those riders on their group. Now, next level here, should you have a Bluetooth integrated headset linked to your G8, you can actually communicate through voice with those same riders and make sure your buddies who don't have a G8 or an Arctic Cat sled don't feel left out. They can just download the app and they can also see and be seen by those using their G8 displays as well. Pretty cool to see another manufacturer incorporate these features into a sled. Along with the group features, the integrated trail maps, points of interest, as well as topographical maps, and the detailed sled instrumentation is also phone connectivity for those who want it for smart notifications, weather forecasts as well as live weather radar and paired music when a mobile device is connected. Now for 2025, Articat has answered what the industry has been begging for since they first saw the Catalyst platform many years ago. And that is a bigger, cleaner, more powerful engine. 
and the 858 is just that, giving Arctic Cat buyers their answer to the 850 class. Now, when you link this up with the all new G8 display powered by Garmin, you've really got the indication that Arctic Cat is not backing off. And in 2025, I think Arctic Cat owners have all the reason in the world to go to their dealerships.